Chapter 9, Accounting for Non-Current Asset. Our learning objective will be focused on Disposal of Peak Asset. Under Disposal of Peak Asset, there were three types of disposal. The first one, discharge. Second one, sell. And the third one, exchange. Under disposal of peak asset, we have three steps on disposal. The first one, we have to remove the old peak asset. We have to dispose of asset, which we have to credit machine or credit the old asset. The second one, associated accumulated depreciation from the book, which we have to contract from the old asset. We have to debit the accumulated depreciation. And the third one, to determine the amount of gain or loss, we have to debit loss on disposal or credit gain on disposal. How to record gain or loss on disposal if the company sell fixed asset before end of useful life? How to get gain or loss is where the cash received minus book value, where the book value is from the cost minus accumulated depreciation. If the book value more than cash received, the company will get a loss. And if the book value less than cash received, the company will get a gain on disposal. For example, mission purchase on January 1st, 2015, 25,000, estimated useful life of 5 years and no residual value, the machine is depreciated using a straight line method. On January 1st, 2017, machine sold at a price of 20,000. So, what we have to do, we have to calculate the accumulated depreciation start on the machine purchase until the machine sold. So, the cost of machine purchase 25,000 divided by the useful life 5 years times 2 years of usage. So meaning the cost of 10,000. How to calculate the gain or loss is where the book value 15,000 where the cost of purchase 25,000 minus the accumulated depreciation 10,000 cash received 20,000 and the gain is the comparison 20,000 cash received with the book value of 15,000 which it seems that cash received is more than a book value, so therefore the company gain on disposal 5,000. In the reporting of journal, so date January 1, 2017, debit cash 20,000, debit accumulated depreciation, machine 10,000, credit machine 25,000, gain on disposal 5,000, and narrator sold machine for cash. Another example, mission purchase on January 1st, 2015, 25,000. Estimated useful life of 5 years and no residual value. The mission is depreciated using the straight line method. On January 1st, 2018, mission sold at a price of 8,000. So, to calculate the accumulated depreciation, it's been used for the 3 years. So, accumulated will be 15,000. We can make Gain or loss, compare the book value and the cash receive. Same loss where the cash receive is slightly lower than the book value of 10,000. So the loss will be 2,000. So in terms of the record, preparing on the journal. Credit machine, 25,000. Debit accumulated depreciation, 15,000. Debit cash, 8,000. And debit loss on disposal, 2,000. Narrator sold a comment for 
for cash. That's all for now. Thank you very much.